Hi, I'm Amanda Allred, and I'm here with John Buchanan of Shell Deer Park. John is the contractor HSE specialist for the Deer Park facility. Thanks for joining me, John. Thank you for having me. This will be an interesting segment. The segment today is centered around saving time for you contractors. Uh, by saving time, I'm referring to some of our applications that are available 24 hours a day via our Extranet and our Xnet. First and foremost, John, when you have contractors coming on site, what kind of direction do you give them about what they need for entry? We provide a list of our training programs or our training that is required and basically tell them that the biggest majority of that list of products can be taken here at the Houston's Area Safety Council and fully expect them to be in compliance. Fantastic. So if you're wondering what your requirements are for entry to any of the sites that we take care of, go to the website, click on the training tab, go to site specific orientations, and find the plant you're interested in. In this case, since we're talking Shell Deer Park, I'm going to scroll down and find Shell. Shell has quite a few courses in the list. Let's go with your site specific. Okay. Voila, Shell T. So as you can see, by clicking on this hyperlink, we see all of the requirements for entry. The 19 Shell T site specific, basic plus or refresher, and NASAP compliance. Additionally, you'll get some information about the requirements, approximately how long the course is, that it's English only, and the passing score is 80. Very simple to use. So now you know what you need. The next step is registering your employees for this training experience. So to register, you click on the register tab on, under the extranet, and this is only available to members. So it's an important distinction. Non-members register via fax. They have to pay upon entry to the the Safety Council. Members are billed and have the ability to go online 24 hours a day to register for training. So the first step is to select the training location. As you know, John, we're members of ARSC and therefore many of our courses are available at other Safety Councils within that association. Your course specifically is offered at all of the councils within ARSC. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to talk about Houston Safety Council. So we're going to pick our Deer Park headquarters and then we're going to enter some trainees. Uh, for this example, I'm going to do multiple trainees all going to the same site to show you how easy this is for contractors. Okay. So I'll pick myself first, and then I'm going to pick my sidekick, Cammie. So simply by typing in their social security number or whatever their trainee ID is, I've pulled up the two individuals. You can see their photo is on file. You can see their name and their trainee ID. The next step is to choose the date of training. So again, for our purposes today, I'm going to select today, um, but you can pick any time in the future up to a certain period of time. We don't open it for the full year necessarily. And this experience is limited to a certain time window. So if a trainee was registered for today, technically that registration is good for a few days from now. Right. So that in the event there was bad weather or they were coming in from out of town, the company doesn't have to re-register them. That's still going to be an active registration. But you do try to aim for the date that you're going to send the trainees. The next step is to choose the courses. So again, we looked at your shell requirements. One of those was basic plus. So I'm going to register Cami and Amanda for basic plus. So if I can't find it, I'm so close. Basic plus Houston. So Cami and Amanda are going to take basic plus, but we also have another requirement. We have 19 shell T. Right. So I'm going to scroll way down to the S's and find the shells. So here we go. And I'm going to do a little bit more in this example because I, I want employers to see how easy all of this is. Some of your contractors are required to wear respiratory protection, isn't that correct? That's correct. So uh, they can conceivably use the Safety Council for their pulmonary function testing, their respirator fit testing, as well as their supplied air testing. That's correct. So I'm going to register for PFT, respirator, if I can find it. Whoops, supplied air, I said. Turns out that the alphabet is difficult for me. <laughs> Voila! Supplied air and fit. And fit was the one I primarily wanted to show because there are a couple requirements for contractors here. So we're going to look for fit testing. I'm going to say two masks. Right. Okay. Then the next tab is special instructions. Special instructions allow the contractor to specify if they're going to pay with a credit card they have on file, uh, whether they're going to require the employee to pay, or they may not have any special instructions. 
some of them like to specify a purchase order to make it easier for them and their county departments. But the other one, pretty interesting here, is post-fail instructions. Post-fail instructions are where the employer can decide if they want the individual to be stopped if they fail a course. This saves them money by not allowing someone to keep trying that perhaps can't read English. Right. Or they can specify. They'll let them continue the remaining courses, but they're not going to repay for the one they failed. The individual may be required to do that his or herself. Or they can allow retest. So it's up to the employer. Our default is always to stop after one fail. Again, sure. this is a service to the member. That's right. Last step is confirmation. So you can see here Amanda and Cami are both registered for all of your requirements. Now I happen to know because I looked at Amanda's training history somewhere up here, I don't know if I kept it up on the screen or not, um, that she has Shell still. So I'm going to drop Shell because your course is valid for three years. That's right. So I'm going to drop it. See how easy that is to edit this? Sure. And I'm also going to drop Basic Plus Houston because I already have that in my history. Cammie's going to have to go through everything, but my, my, app, my day is going to be shorter. So then I simply hit Submit. Now when it comes to fit testing, we have to have some information. We need an address for those medical records to go to. So we ask you to fill that in. And then you select the respirator. So in your plant, I don't know if you specify which respirators or if it's up to the contractor. It varies from plant to plant. But they can select out of our myriad of respirators, whatever type of respirator they need. And they need to specify at least one as a primary mask. Right. So very simple to use. They do have to agree to this disclaimer about uh, the requirement of OSHA that you have to be fit tested, medically cleared, and trained. That's right. And once they do that, the, you get a notice of whether the individual is eligible for an e-routing card. The e-routing card is very similar to you checking in online for a flight and printing your own boarding pass. So in this example, perhaps you're at my hiring office and you, know, you see Amanda there and you want to print her ticket so that when Amanda gets to the safety council, she doesn't have to stand in line. She walks straight in, goes to class, never has to stop at the front. So very similar to a typical routing card, you see it does have my face, it has my digital signature, and it has my schedule for the day. Additionally, it has some information about the safety council, our hours of operation, our physical addresses, uh, and a barcode at the bottom. So when I get to the safety council, I need to just simply show up and go to class. Piece of cake. And since Cami's not here, I'm not going to print her writing card. She right. can go use our kiosk when she arrives at the council. That's correct. So very, very simple. You see how quickly we went through that. And that was with me doing a lot of explanation in the middle of the process. So you think your contractors can handle this? I think they can do a great job of doing this. I, as a matter of fact, I know that many of them currently use the... Uh, this one's our the extra net. The online registration, and because uh, I've sat with them at different times and watched them do some of it, so uh, <coughs> excuse me, they are using uh, the the products that uh, you're providing. Fantastic. We want to hear more of that.